Russia accelerates withdrawal from Crimea. Families of servicemen museum exhibits are removed. The Department of the Occupation Administration of Crimea, responsible for historical artifacts and cultural sites on the peninsula, has ordered its subordinate institutions to prepare museum property for evacuation, Ukraine's National Resistance Center reported this. This is evidenced by a letter from the so-called Ministry of Culture of temporarily occupied Crimea to the heads of museum institutions. The Russians did not indicate the reasons and places for the alleged transportation of valuables. The National Resistance Center stressed that there had been a risk that the most valuable items would be transported from Crimea to Russia's internationally recognized territory. In particular, the document which was handed over to the National Resistance Center directly refers to the need to clarify the list of places of evacuation of valuables in the event of disasters or combat actions. It is important to note that according to Russian law, the list of such places should have been approved long ago, but the information is being requested to be clarified because of a new letter from the Russian Ministry of Culture. Museum administrations have been given until the 1st of July this year to respond. Another point in the letter states that at least some of the cultural and historical monuments will be taken outside the peninsula. The letter was not published by the National Resistance Center, even though they have it due to sensitive information. The Russians are trying to speed up the process of typification and evaluation of museum artifacts in Crimea. Museum workers are creating electronic registers of works of art and historical monuments and transferring information to the Russian Electronic Museum Fund. The letter was signed by Andriy Rostenko, the so-called Deputy Minister of Culture of Crimea. He is the former head of the occupation administration of the city of Yalta in Crimea. Earlier, there was information about the start of the evacuation of military families from Crimea. Recently, Ukrainian military said it had destroyed three Russian surface-to-air missile systems in Russian-occupied Crimea. Analysts believe it's only a matter of time before Kyiv might attack another vital target in Crimea, the bridge linking the occupied peninsula to the Russian mainland. Germany announced the transfer of new military aid to Ukraine. According to the German government website, the assistance package will include 10 Leopard 1A1 tanks and ammunition for them, 20 Martyr tracked infantry vehicles and ammunition, Iris T SLM medium range anti aircraft missile system, small radius anti aircraft missile system Iris T SLS, 3 HIMARS rocket artillery systems, 2 armored engineering vehicles docks. Armored Repair and Recovery Vehicle Bergepanzer II, 4 Wissent 1 Demoning Vehicles with Spare Parts, 16 Fuel Tankers, Ammunition, Boats, Small Weapons and more. This military assistance is delivered in two different ways, on the one hand there are the federal government funds for security capacity building, which are used to finance deliveries of military equipment and other material from industry. On the other hand, there are deliveries from Federal Armed Forces stocks. In total, the Federal Republic of Germany has so far provided or committed for future years. Military assistance with a value of approximately 28 billion euro. Funds for the Security Capacity Building Initiative in 2024 alone for military assistance to Ukraine amount to approximately 7.1 billion euro. From these also Germany's contributions to the European Peace Facility of the European Union are financed. So far already approximately 5 billion euro in 2023 and approximately 1.6 billion euro in 2022 were spent on military assistance to Ukraine. Additional approximately 2.9 billion euro have been committed in the first two years of the war for deliveries, which will arrive only in the years 2025 to 2028. Since the beginning of the Russian armed attack on Ukraine on February 24, 2022 Germany has delivered material from Federal Armed Forces stocks amounting to approximately 5.2 billion euro reflecting estimated replacement values. Also, more than 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers have received military training in Germany. Russia's nuclear threats enter frightening phase, US could be turned to radioactive ashes. A Russian state TV host and Kremlin propagandists have floated the prospect of a nuclear war breaking out amid the ongoing war in Ukraine, according to Newsweek. 
it is noted that guests on the program New World, hosted by Marina Kim, a member of Russia's State Duma, discussed the country's nuclear war prospects. There have been warnings from Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov that the country's nuclear doctrine could be amended due to the unacceptable and escalatory actions of the West. Russia's nuclear doctrine lays out the conditions under which it can use such weapons. An excerpt of the broadcast was shared on X by Julia Davis, the founder of the Russia Media Monitor Watchdog Group. Meanwhile, in Russia, prominent figures explained their deranged belief that if Russia starts a nuclear war, it can win it, Davis wrote. They also described misusing funds allocated for nuclear non-proliferation and disarmament to build up Russia's nuclear capabilities. The program's first guest was Alexander Dugin, an influential ally of Russian President Vladimir Putin, who told host Kim that Russia is redefining its place in the world. Our country? only has one path, either to be great or not to exist. Russia will either be great or it will not exist. Everything is at stake, Dugin said. The program cut to a clip of Putin at St. Petersburg International Economic Forum on June the 7th, saying that his country's nuclear doctrine is a living instrument that can be changed. Russia is carefully watching what is happening in the world around us and do not exclude making some changes to this doctrine, Putin said. This is also related to the testing of nuclear weapons, the Russian president added. Dugin, who last year said talk of using nuclear weapons in Russia's war in Ukraine is irresponsible, told Kim that he believes the West is a pathologically sick civilization that pitted itself against the rest of the world and is the source of the problem. In order to defend itself, in order to defend against it and not be helpless in the face of this maniacal civilization which is aggressive, imperialist and colonial, nuclear weapons are needed for containment, said Dugin. Dugin, 62, has been credited with being a key architect of Russia's invasion of Ukraine. His daughter, political activist Daria Dugina, was killed in a car bomb attack in August 2022. What the president said about victory is very important, Dugin added. Russia has no chance without victory over the aggression of the hegemony over global liberalism. It's not about a truce or a ceasefire, but about victory. Kim also spoke with Mikhail Govalchuk, who is a physicist and member of an elite group close to Putin. Govalchuk said he believes nuclear weapons are the most important thing in this world, along with their means of delivery. The West is not afraid of China because we are the only ones who can turn America into radioactive nuclear ashes, Govalchuk said.